this is the first direct of the year for Nintendo and I'm not really expecting much to be honest Nintendo tends to disappoint me <laughs> but then again E3 last year was really good um, but like I don't really I've learned not to expect much from Nintendo I'm hoping that we're going to see more uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 um, it'll be really good to get some more footage of that so, so that we can see the like, maybe they can say a bit more about the plot whether it is about time travel what it really is about um, maybe if there's a new Mario Kart on Switch I'm not expecting that but that'll be pretty fun um, also I'm not expecting this but a Metro Dread um, DLC some content for that because that game was way too short here we go the COVID-19 release dates and other information presented video blah 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 Great. First director of the year. Let's see what you got. Oh. I stand corrected. No, this is Fire Emblem. This is Fire Emblem. I thought this was going to be Zelda. It must be Fire Emblem, right? Yeah, Fire Emblem. Warriors. A Warriors game. Oh, I'm not really into Warriors games, but it makes sense. Cycle of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. It does make sense. I seek to destroy the irrational power. This is the same ones that did the Zelda one. If the kingdom is ever to part ways with our Let me switch off these captions. It's really annoying. This is the path we must walk. I don't like I the captions. There we go. Real ones. It does look a bit like um, Zelda, though, as in in terms of the uh, um, art style. Um, I haven't really played any Fire Emblem games. Um, the last one I played was probably on Game Boy Advance. So, tactic games are fun, but I, they're not really my type of um, my type of thing. But if this is good, then it's good. Wow. You know what? This looks pretty good. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Not a sin you take for someone else. You seek revenge to And if the plot is good, then why not? Like a bit of anime <laughs> over the top action. June twenty fourth, that's a good opening. That's decent. Hello everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your hmm. guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Good start, good start. I like. What you just saw was the trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes game. Hmm. I hope you'll look forward to a different story set in the same universe as Fire Emblem Three Houses. Three Houses. Maybe I should try Three Houses. First batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. I know I won't, but I'm just chatting. <laughs> Hey, Advance Wars. I really liked Advance Wars in Game Boy Advance. We've got more intel on the Advance Wars 1 plus 2 reboot camp game. In the first campaign, Advance Wars, you'll advise a colorful cast of commanding officers <laughs> and use their abilities in vibrant Is that 3D? Battles. Those animations. I'm always looking at animations and thinking, is this 2D or 3D? 3D animations has come such a long way that they can really mimic 2D animation. Like in Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm just riffing on top of this because I'm not really interested in tactics games like that. But um, in Dragon Ball Fighters, it looks really 2D. You can tell it's 3D, but like cell shading and that has come so far. So I'm looking at the characters on this and I'm like, are they 3D? Most likely not. Most likely it's just like... Flex your a really good <laughs> advanced form of 2D animation. Modes. You know where they have the skeleton and they attach the body parts to it and makes makes it really smooth. Similar to um, what's it called? That game, uh, Oboro Muramasa on the Wii, and um, is it? It's not Dragon's Crown, is it? That same company, anyway. That whole rigging animation is really really cool. I really like that. Oh, Advance Wars 1 and 2. Is that what they were always releasing? Explore I guess so. <laughs> an infinite universe. In no Man's Sky. Oh, No Man's Sky. The light of a distant sun. Each orbited by planets teeming with life. Travel to planets of your okay. choosing in this infinite, procedurally generated universe. Here, you'll discover this looks pretty cool. extraordinary lands 
I never played, this did come out before, didn't it? Is this a re-release on Switch? Is it a port or is it, um, <clears throat> or is it a completely new game for the Switch? That's my question. I don't really recognize any of this because I never looked at No Man's Sky before. So, yeah. <laughs> my question is, can the Switch handle all of this? Because I have seen the Switch almost die because it's been put too much under too much pressure. And that's my issue with the Switch right now, is that it's so weak compared to what's out now. Like, the fact that Nintendo hasn't released a new console yet is quite crazy to me. Um, yeah. Hello. <gasps> Mario Sucker! Wow. Did not expect this. Really did not expect this. Did not expect it to make... What? They made another one? Like... Huh? Another Mario game though. This is what we've been saying on our podcast. Is that they keep making Mario games. Although I liked Mario Strikers. Um, when I played it on GameCube. I think it was GameCube? <laughs> His leg goes bare high, bruv. Um... Although I really liked it, it was repetitive. So maybe they, I hope they fix the issues on this. Mario Strikers um, another Mario game though. You have so many IPs, Nintendo. Why don't you do something with them? Instead of you, you keep making Mario games. We did Mario Golf. Now you're doing the Mario Soccer, which I'm not against, but at least do something with the other IPs. And crushing special shots. The main rule in this sport I'm not really into football games either, so this doesn't really appeal to me. Um, but for those that are into it, wait, isn't that a foul? Or is he a goalkeeper? <laughs> um, let me just watch this and stop talking. Okay. Right, customization. Try to get all our money so you can buy more costumes. Um. <laughs> I actually do like the way they've done the. I like the visual direction of this. Eight players? This could be really fun at parties. Not gonna lie. This could be really fun, actually. Online play will have an online club mode. Join an in-game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Up to 20 players can join a club. So create your own and invite friends and family to play alongside you. Or join an existing one owned by other players. Try to become the world's top club. I find it amusing that Rosario is just floating everywhere. <laughs> Looks pretty nuts. It's always been like pretty nuts anyway, that kind of um, the gameplay of it. But like I said, in the, on the Wii it was quite repetitive. And once people did the special shot, it was, it was, it was really hard to, to stop it from going into the goal. There was a Mario basketball game before that I really liked. Oh, that was on Nintendo DS. Hopefully, I'd like to see a new one of that. If anything. What's this? Oh, it is Splatoon. Okay. I was thinking Splatoon, but I was like, it looks a bit too... It doesn't look as quite colourful, but... For the Splatoon fans, this is going to be really good. Um... <laughs> the heck are those? I never got into Splatoon and I feel like I've like missed out. Okay. What is that? <laughs> fish sticks. Do you like fish sticks? <laughs> Comment if you know the joke. <laughs> Do you like fish sticks?
Okay. So in Splatoon, did you always like fight bosses? That's my question. Um, well, if not, that's a good um, addition to the game, I guess. Not like I played the previous ones, but. Okay. So are they fighting fish in this one? Is that the <laughs> is that the plot? <laughs> Squids versus fish. And octopuses. This reminds me so much of Mario Sunshine, where you had to clean up all the paint. And you have to give it to Nintendo, they always think of really unique ideas. How can we make a really violent shoot third person shooter that's not violent? I know. Let's have a bunch of squid spraying each other with ink. <laughs> that doesn't have any violent connotations. This part reminds me of have you ever played near Autom Automata where the big <laughs> where the big um, whale is <laughs> in the ocean and you have to fight it. <laughs> Salmon run. They're showing quite a bit. You know what? I'll eat my hat. You see my hat right there? I'm gonna eat it because they're showing quite a bit. Well done, Nintendo. I really didn't expect much. Then again, he's been so quiet for so long. So maybe, maybe there is a big chance that they will show um, Zelda 2 and Breath of the Wild 2. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Bonzers at the ready. I recognize that song. Front mission? <laughs> I knew it! Front mission! First front mission game is storming onto Nintendo Switch. I knew it as soon as I saw that mech. Now this tactical RPG I really liked back in the day. Front mission was so sick. Front mission was sick. So, you know what? Some surprises in this direct, man. Mix and match various weapons and Doesn't look like next gen or anything, but you know, it'll be pretty fun. I, oh, they, they kept the art style too. Wow. Wow. Did not see that coming. In the future, the nah, sequel, I'm getting that. Oh! Front Mission 2 Remake. Switch. I might be getting these. I think I'm gonna get these. Get set for a high nah. Disney and Pixar combat racer. Uh, pardon? From the creators of the Asphalt series comes Rip Roaring Racing. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I think it makes sense, I guess. It does make sense, to be honest. To it makes more sense than the Sega one. <laughs> Mickey Mouse for symphonic speed. Sully for monstrous power. Or Mulan for explosive <laughs> It's like Fast and the Furious with Mickey Mouse. also possesses powerful ultimate skills. Perfect for turning the tables at the last second. Disney this looks fun. <laughs> play game. I ain't gonna lie. New seasons added regularly, bringing more exciting Disney and Pixar characters. Circuits, carts, and more. Plus, enjoy cross-platform <laughs> play, as well as split-screen and online multiplayer modes. You know what? Disney Speedstorm races That's... onto Nintendo Switch. I can't hate on that. Can't hate on that. Dive into these classic franchises on Nintendo Switch. Unleash the power of the Force in this classic Star Wars action adventure. <laughs> As Darth Vader's secret I remember princess, this. You'll use devastating Jesus, force the graphics. and lightsaber combos. As you hunt down Jedi Masters on iconic planets. Upgrade abilities like Force Grip and Force Repulse. Then combine them for even I like you know combos. the character. He looked so basic though. Like he looked so basic. He didn't look like he looks like a NPC. <laughs> the design of the Secret Apprentice. He looks actually looks like an NPC. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed launches on Nintendo Switch April twenty. I remember him in um, Soul Calibur though. He was quite a fun character to use. I love the way he held the um. He also held the lightsaber. He held it like a dagger. Like his his fighting style was pretty cool. Explore Renaissance Italy and 16th century Constantinople. Interact with historical figures and discover secrets of the creed across three games. Two more re re release, releases though. Um, 
take advantage of enhanced features for the Nintendo Switch system on the I'm all for like re-releasing games, but like um HD Rumble and like I was excited to see Front Mission because that's a classic being remade from the ground up, it looks like it. But like if they're just doing a port, I'm not really interested. RPG battles. Strange incidents called breaks are occurring across the Gundam universe. Find out what's causing them and restore the proper timeline. You'll lead three mobile suits in battle. Enhance each Is this a, to improve their a re power. remake? You can also battle alongside friends in online co-op multiplayer. SD Gundam Battle Alliance launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Good old Gundam. Two worlds cross in the triumphant return of this RPG. <gasps> Skies of Arcadia. A remaster oh. of the Chrono Cross. RPG <laughs> cross is coming to the Nintendo but this is a classic too. I never got to play it properly. One fateful day, the protagonist Surge wanders into an alternate world. Though it's somewhat Elijah might be exi home, excited about this. He finds that he no longer exists here. How did this happen? What is this mysterious another world? Apparently there's loads of characters in this too. Between both worlds to unravel the story. Over 40 yeah. characters can join your party. Depending on the choices you make, the allies who accompany you and the The battle system was pretty good apparently. A number of improvements have been made to this remaster. Like the ability to turn off enemy encounters and a newly enhanced soundtrack. How do you turn off enemy encounters? Plus, radical dreamers. Is, that, is it even the game? <laughs> is included. Experience the origins of Chrono Cross in this text-based adventure. What I want to see is a remake of Chrono Trigger. That's what I want. Edition, dashes, and but they ain't gonna give us that because it was a, it was just stress to make that game. But well, in 2022, it must be easier now, right? Good old Kirby. More footage from his new game. Which is nice. <laughs> it's gonna eat the car. Is it gonna become a car? What the actual heck? It's nice to see a 3D Kirby though. It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3D platforming adventure, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It all takes place in a mysterious world <laughs> with an unusual mix. If I'm playing this and someone that hasn't got a clue what Kirby is, um, would be like, what the hell are you playing? <laughs> Why does it look so whimsical? If it's two players, I'll play with my girlfriend. Like. <laughs> what? <laughs> and hail a car to zoom around. <laughs> What's the actual heck? A vending machine to attack. <laughs> <laughs> nah, these guys are on drugs. You must be on drugs to develop for Kirby. Like when they're sitting down in the room, they say, "What new ideas can we give? Let's do mouthful mode." They just take us, take, <laughs> they just roll, <laughs> just they just pass the weed around. <laughs> <laughs> I start hallucinating and that becomes the game. Oh my god, this is hilarious. This is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. That's absolutely hilarious. Familiar copy abilities can be evolved. <laughs> Evolve copy abilities to expand Kirby's range of attacks. They'll also change Kirby's appearance and make him even more <laughs> powerful. This looks so fun. Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. <laughs> Who are the beast pack? What are these enemies trying to do? Can Kirby restore peace to this world? Kirby and the Forgotten Land launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 25th. Pre 
pre-orders are available now. The pace that they're doing these videos is just like bang, 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 bang. Which is really cool. And the forgotten land. 20 more minutes. Later next month. Please look forward to its release. Nintendo, I apologize. You're showing a lot of stuff. Nintendo Direct will see you soon. Hello. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I guess there's a market for it. Um, I'm not excited for this. <laughs> Play them and play online. All right. I knew you were a true two-way player, but still the Muppets. Okay. You're gonna have your hands full of games with these collections. Three Kingdom Hearts collections are almost here. <laughs> the most confusing storyline in all of Kingdom gaming. Hearts three and the Remind DLC. Every entry Kingdom Hearts 2 was amazing Nintendo though, Switch oh my god, even Kingdom Hearts 1 was amazing. I loved Kingdom Hearts 2, absolutely loved it. Um, it was just brilliant man. It's sad that Kingdom Hearts 3 wasn't great. And they're still making more. <laughs> Oh. Klonoa is coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay. This is an iconic Across video game too. Side scrolling levels. You'll run, jump, and hover while firing wind bullets to grab and throw enemies. <laughs> Use each level surroundings to your advantage. Also, Klonoa 2 is included. Take on these great adventures when Klonoa This is an Fantasy old Rebrief game, man. Launches on Nintendo Switch. July. He would be good at Smash Brothers, wouldn't he? <laughs> but no one would know who he is really. Not people We're of this generation, so anyway. You're here. Come here often. Also, Either way, another game I never got to play. Puzzling treat. In these award-winning games, the portal gun is your key to surviving imprisonment in a mysterious lab. Create portals and warp to other areas to find cake. Uh, still unconfirmed. You can pass through portals, and so can cubes, lasers, <laughs> and robots with unnerving levels of personality. The sequel adds in local, online, and split-screen multiplayer modes, and that part's no lie. Neither is the sentient robot monitoring your every move when Portal Companion <laughs> Collection warps onto Nintendo Switch this year. Pretty cool. A classic comes alive. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Ghosts and Ghosts? No. Castlevania? No. It's on the tip of my tongue, you know. Oh, what is this? Okay. Yeah! I recognize this. Do I recognize this or am I just chatting box? <laughs> Ooh, hiccups. No, I do not recognize this. <laughs> I have never seen a giant man like that before. Nope, never heard of this. Now in HD 2D, <laughs> multiple stories featuring different protagonists and time periods await. The order in which you tackle them is up to you. Prehistory, a tribesman comes of age in a world without words. <laughs> the Wild West, a wanderer with a bounty on his head fights for his life. Imperial China, a kung fu master searches for a worthy successor. Twilight of Edo what Japan, is this? <laughs> a shinobi undertakes an important secret mission. This is it like different gameplay for each to become the strongest there ever for was. each place each the near era future, even a youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil the distant future a newly built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space 
What other stories are on the horizon? <laughs> Never heard of this. That voiceover is still better than um, Final Fantasy. Um, what do we call it? <laughs> Stranger of Paradise. <laughs> How was that? Next up is this. No, uh, Mario Tennis. It's a new iteration Switch. of the Wii Sports series. Huh. Nintendo Switch Sports. You know what? Nintendo Wii Sports. I played. I banged that out, bro. The boxing one. Here are the Yo. sports included in the Nintendo Switch Sports. That boxing game was sick. But once you knew how the, the um, remote control worked, you could kind of like um, fake it. Tennis. Rally by um, but it was <laughs> it was freaking the right fun. Time. The combos you could do, boy. Bowling. Roll the ball straight ahead I was really good at parties too. So I don't hate this. And Chambara. Knock your opponent off the platform while attacking and defending. Plus, three additional sports are joining the lineup. Soccer. Okay. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. Enjoy matches with Joy-Con controllers to shoot and perform dynamic. <laughs> the um, the Mii's look interesting. Uh, 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 huh? With the huh? Version of the game, you can play shootout mode Isn't that a bit dangerous? Someone's gonna get spinning kicked in the head, and we're gonna be seeing it on flipping Kotaku and all these news sites. <laughs> Headline: Mother spinning kicks toddler's head. Playing Switch Sports. I I think that's just an accident waiting to happen. Cause people are clumsy. The game supports local play with family and friends on one Nintendo Switch <laughs> I love that song. As well as da, 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 online da, 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 across da, da, da. all sports. Play against friends online. Or opt for random matchmaking. The more you win, the tougher the players you'll face. <laughs> Try taking it was on so this relaxing. Challenge. They look very was that? different, it's those me's. I'd like to show you some gameplay of one of the newly added sports, volleyball. Mr. Takahashi! Oh, hello there, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki <laughs> Koizumi from Nintendo. Wow, Mr. Koizumi, I can see you're ready to play. All right, I'll play some You know what I'd like to see? A, a game for Haiku. Is that a game for Haiku? Do you have your wrist the anime? That anime is sick. It makes volleyball like flipping Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'd like to play a game like that. If I'm ever going to play volleyball, I'd like to make myself look like I'm in that anime. And nothing else. I will not accept anything less than that. Okay, now those me's look as they should. <laughs> this could be fun, though. We begin with Koizumi serving. How will the opposing team react? Takahashi makes the block. <laughs> Another one's coming. Koizumi saves it. Oh my god. The air, and here comes the spike. The other team saves it and fights back. It looks fun. And they score. Takahashi didn't quite get it in time. All right, well, it's okay. It's okay. The game's not over. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it. Mm -hmm. Takahashi sets it up. And Koizumi spikes. But it goes right towards <laughs> the opponent. Here's another attack. Now's their chance. Alright, we get it, we get it, we get it. This is this does look fun though. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. It does look quite fun. And people have been locked down. They need a reason to move. Let's stop our match here. After all, we were in the middle of a presentation. Alright, I'll be leaving now. Bye. Wait, huh? <laughs> Wait, what the heck was that? That was an introduction to Nintendo Switch. Oh my god. The game launches April 29th. We're planning a free update in the summer that allows you to play soccer matches with a Joy-Con controller and a leg strap accessory. That leg strap is just looking... I, I don't know about that leg strap, bro. In addition... Honestly. We're also planning a second free update this fall that lets you enjoy golf. You know, the golf part of the Wii Sports was actually really fun. And now, a request to everyone. 
and to help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, we'll be having an online playtest before the game launches to evaluate... I thought they were going to say a request to everyone, please don't kick people while you're using the leg strap. Probably should have said that, <laughs> to be honest. The online playtest will only be available for players with an active Nintendo Switch online membership on the dates shown on screen. For those of you interested, please visit the official Nintendo Is it free? for more details. Thank you. I think, obviously, that's the whole point of a test. It, is, it will be free. That's all I have for now about Nintendo Switch Sports. Thank God. I, hope you're I want some other stuff. Let's see a few Come on, Nintendo Zelda. Zelda will probably be the last thing, to be honest, but... Get those Taiko drumming skills <laughs> ready. <laughs> the latest Taiko no Tatsujin game is... It's crazy how they Nintendo made the game... Set in Omiko City, about drumming. A sacred town for Taiko drums. You'll strive to become a Taiko master, along with brand new character Kumokyun. Drum to dozens of oh my god, games, including Megalovania, Gurenge, Feel Special, and Racing into the Night. And that's not all. An orchestral <laughs> version of the main theme from The Legend of Zelda is included. That's 76 songs total. Plus, that cloud looked wedge. Look at him. He's hench. Many times as you'd like. New modes have also been for everyone to enjoy. Put on a live concert with up to four players in Don Chen Band. Or face off against each other in Great Drum Toy War. Drum to your heart's content. Oh my gosh, this looks nuts. Launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Plus, a paid in-game subscription... I bet Tego is going to buy this game. <laughs> this is something Tego will buy. Just for the sake of it. He bought flipping Kirby Fighters. What's new with these um, Nintendo Switch games? The brand new tri tactical triangle RPG strategy? game, Triangle Strategy, is almost here. The protagonist, Sarah Noah, and his allies will be engulfed in the conflict among three nations. Your choices... And conviction will determine their fate. The thing about tactics games like this, it's like you have a game that's quote unquote next gen uh, console that's like that, but you choose to do Super Nintendo graphics. I'm not totally against it, but uh, that's one of the things that really annoys me. Like if you're gonna do 2D, do it like this. Like, it's so stylized that you can look past it. And then you're going to be like, okay, cool. At least they've done, they're doing something different. But the other one that just looks like a SNES game, I'm not really into it. And no, no offense if you're into it. Like, you're into what you're into. Just for me, I'm not really into that kind of thing. Yay! Thank you. This is what I wanted. Huh? Even, from this. Even those? Are you mad? Nah, the speedrunners are gonna be drooling. Nah, bun that. No, this is not the update I wanted. I just wanted more content, bro. I just wanted more content, not more stress. Huh? This free update no, later today. <laughs> I wanted more content. Give me some secret bosses. Free update in April will add a boss rush mode in which you'll battle bosses continuously. Oh, I like that. I like the boss rush. Something's bound. Earthbound. Switch. Three, two. Can you make a new Earthbound though? Everyone wants a new one. They don't really want a, just the SNES one again. <laughs> uh, well, it is, it is iconic though. Um, the last boss is very creepy. I think it's um, <laughs> it's so weird, but like. You can Google, Google what the last boss of, if you know, if you're okay with spoilers, Google what the last boss was inspired by, and you'll be like, really Nintendo, 
Really? <laughs> huh? Oh. Why does it look, um... Does it always look like that? Oh, okay. Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings will be added makes sense. to Nintendo Switch okay. Online later today. That'll make some people happy. Tega really liked um, Earthbound. So he'll be quite happy with that. Although he would prefer a new game. Mm hmm. Another zombie game. People love their zombie games, man. This game looks cool. I'm not really into roguelikes, though. But, like, it looks pretty cool. Demon Slayer. Yeah, good anime. Never played the game. That. But the anime is really carried by animation. I don't think the story is all that. You guys are going to hate me in the comments, but whatever. So the story's fine, though. The story is decent. But it's not, like, the best. People pretend, like, like um, Demon Slayer is the best story in recent years in anime and manga. And I'm just like, no, it's re it really is not. <laughs> um, the story really plummets at a certain point, And you're like, eh. And it just becomes the same of everything. Everyone just does the same. The plot what just goes great, goes a bit Here's rubbish. Ooh, Mario Kart. Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game since its launch in 2017. So, we've 2017. Been on remastering select courses from 2017. the Mario Kart series and we'll be releasing them Nintendo. as paid downloadable copies. Pay oh, please. Let's take a look at this trailer. Uh, oh wait, let me just watch it. <sighs> Don't make us pay 70 quid for just an update. <laughs> Which they won't, but... DLC courses will be coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But it came out in 2017, right? You've had a... This has come out... Um... Is it that they're just not going to release any new Mario Karts and they're just going to keep adding DLC to it? Because I think it's time to release a new Mario Kart. Personally. I don't know what they will do with it. I don't know what they will add to it. I don't know what the new gimmick would be. But, um, like, I feel like it's time for a new Mario Kart, honestly. Um, that's the thing about Nintendo is that they... I guess they just don't like to do things like everyone else, but, um, yeah, I, I, I hope it just doesn't cost an arm, an arm and a leg, <laughs> but I guess with Mario Kart, there's not much they can do, um, but they've been on Mario Kart 8 for a long time, 2017, or well, in 2022 now, they're really rinsing out this game. <laughs> With the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Expand, uh, purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. How much is it going to cost, though? Just for the booster pack. I'm not going to get it because I don't play that? it, but. I hope you're looking forward to Two more minutes. Come on, Zelda. Come on, Zelda. This next segment will be our last announcement. Come on, Zelda. Please take a look. Not Zelda. Doesn't look like it. Fighting in order to Definitely live. not Zelda. <laughs> and living to fight. The heck? That's the way of our world. Is this? Ionios. Huh? Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. To believe you're him. Fancy star? I, you are, you're not in I don't recognize now. this. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. You could try, try to move forward again. How can I learn? So snapping little do you. They're not your friends anymore. They're his fuel. 
This is cool. Sword match. I've been waiting for a new like RPG to play. It's the only way you're gonna defeat the real enemy. Whatever life is lost, I won't let you solve it all alone. What good filling up these flickering clocks in our eyes? Oh, it's that game. Okay. I don't know why I didn't really think of that. Well, it crossed my mind, but I was like. Anyway. Okay. I heard the other two were pretty good, so. A third one, though? Xenoblade. It's not Zelda, but. Pretty good. Not too bad. Not too shabby, Nintendo. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. September. The story of Xenoblade Chronicles. That's a long time. <laughs> you know what? They showed quite a lot of content, honestly. And I can't hate on them for that. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Can't hit on them. Can't hit on them. Cannot hit on them. Um, you know what? They showed some cool stuff. They actually did show some cool stuff. Um, out of everything, I feel. What was my favorite one? Front mission was really cool. It was really nice to see that. Um. Xenoblade looks good. It looks great. And, um... What else did they show? The Fire... You know what? I'm not into Warriors games, but the Fire Emblem game looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. Um, The Fire Emblem game does look pretty good. Um, So they did show some pretty cool stuff. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I wasn't expecting much from it. Because Nintendo, when it comes to their directs, they're quite hit and miss. But um, this one, they did really good. So it's really positive, I think. Um, I feel like they it only gets better from here, I guess. Um, you know, even the other games that I'm not really interested in, I, I for their audience, they fed every audience pretty pretty much, and it would have been nice to see some more Zelda stuff, but I guess they'll keep us. This will keep us appeased for, for the meantime. Let me take this off because I don't need it anymore. For the meantime, I guess it's gonna appease appease the fans, um, to have things coming up, um. Kirby looks great. The the mouth, <laughs> big mouth thing, is quite a cool gimmick. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty happy with with that direct actually. It's not too bad, not too bad. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but dude, oh, these guys need to give us some Silk Song news. Like I'm just here. Like, when am I gonna get to play Hollow Knight Silk Song? Is it ever going to come out? Oh my gosh. Um, but for the meantime, there are a few things that were on that, um, on that direct. They, they did well. They did good. They did good. So it's a good start to the year. Nintendo don't mess this up. Um, yeah, I guess they're saving Zelda for another time, I guess. There's Mario Strikers. Pleasant surprise for Mario Strikers. Um, Pleasant surprise. I didn't expect that. Did not see that coming. I couldn't have guessed. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. And um, we'll probably talk about this on the podcast anyway. So, yeah. That's about it. Peace.